Last week, I had a short conversation with an executive coach. I met him for the first time, and I shared my thoughts about how I wanted to have an impact on the music industry. What I thought were our leadership problems, and how I thought musicians deserved more psychological safety. He said two little words that made me feel so good. I agree. Now this hit me hard because it has been a while since someone had resonated with me on these topics. And when I talk to folks in the arts about this, I'm usually met with, I don't understand. What do you mean we don't feel safe? Or musicians don't want or need this. So why was this outsider able to see what I saw so clearly? He just got it. More importantly, he believed me. And I became so curious about why this validation felt so good. Why it meant so much to me. And this curiosity led me to realize that I actually sometimes feel more resonance with people outside of music than with those in music. People in the music industry judge a book by its cover, and they want all books to look the same. They immediately equate a lack of status and industry currency for low value, and vice versa. They find it hard to trust or support you until it is popular to trust or support you. They shine a light on all of my deficient parts. They make me feel like I'm doing it all wrong. And that makes me want to try harder to pretend to be more right and more acceptable. So I feel depleted and depressed after engaging with them. Now, articulating all of this made me feel less bad about myself. I realized that there is an inherent obligation to conform in the music industry. We've all been told from day one to do what we're told. It becomes a habit and a false source of validation we chase. That's how I've measured my own worth. And that's why it feels so bad. That's why I don't feel like I belong. Because I can't be myself, and I'm not celebrated for being myself or having my ideas. Alas, I don't know how I can feel more belonging in my industry. But what I have learned is that conformity doesn't work. Not for me, nor for any of us. The biggest issue in the music industry is that we sell conformity as a solution for all our problems. In reality, the habit of conforming is the real problem we need to solve. And we can break this habit. But first, we need to notice that it exists. So where does conformity show up in your life as a musician? My name is Tiffany Chang, and this is Conductor as CEO, where I'm curious about ideas from other industries and how they apply to us as arts leaders. If these ideas resonate with you, please consider signing up in the link below to receive an email with each new blog post sent directly to your inbox. Thank you and have a great day.